But it turns out that we're all regenerating. We all have stem cells inside our bodies. More stem cells, more regeneration, more repair of the heart, longer survival. Less stem cells, you're in trouble. Ever wondered if there's a secret potion to rejuvenate your body naturally? Well, let's find out. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned physician, scientist, best known for his role as president and medical director of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also the author of Eat to Beat Your Diet and Eat to Beat Disease. Dr. Lee's research isn't just about eating healthy. It's about understanding the science behind how certain foods can activate our stem cells, boost our immunity, and even fight cancer. With every bite we take, we have the opportunity to direct our health's trajectory towards rejuvenation and longevity. As we explore some of Dr. Lee's recommendations, remember, each drink or meal is a chance to heal. So here is what we will cover in this video. 1. Understanding stem cells. 2. What happens when we are low on stem cells? 3. The four homemade drinks that will help regenerate stem cells, boost gut health and fight cancer, protect our DNA and slow cellular aging, and finally boost your immune system naturally to rejuvenate the body inside out. Now what about regeneration? When I was uh, growing up, as I'm sure most of you, we were told that um, people don't regenerate. Starfish regenerate and salamanders can regenerate. And the way that they regenerate is by using stem cells. That's, but it turns out that we're all regenerating. We all have stem cells inside our bodies. And these stem cells are being used all the time. That's why our hair grows back after a haircut. That's why our gut uh, replaces itself. Uh, that's why our liver is able to regenerate. We do regenerate, just often not that quickly. But we, generate, we regenerate in important ways throughout our existence. And the question is, when do stem cells come into play? Stem cells come into play for regeneration when we're injured. So this is actually showing that in 25 patients in Italy who suffered a burn and went to an emergency room, got admitted to the hospital, and they just measured their blood at different date, time points. And over the course of the hospitalization, you can see starting from the time of admission to the hospital, more and more and more stem cells came out because the stem cells which live in our bone marrow are trying to heal up that skin in the wound. That's regeneration. That's a kind of real bona fide regeneration. And the greater the injury, the more the stem cells have to come out. More injury, more stem cells needed, right? We need to regenerate more furiously. And in fact, for cardiovascular disease, this was from the New England Journal of Medicine, a very important paper out of Germany that showed if you just took people who were getting uh, you know, their, uh, their angiography, um, as you saw with the dyes being shot, and you measured their blood and seeing how many stem cells are naturally in their blood, you can see that the group in blue who had more stem cells in their blood actually had fewer, they, they did a lot better, they survived longer, they had fewer cardiovascular events. The ones who didn't do as well in green had fewer stem cells. More stem cells, more regeneration, more repair of the heart, longer survival. Exciting, right? Well, I was too when I heard this for the first time. Understanding that these remarkable cells are the foundation of the body's ability to regenerate and heal itself, and that it has the unique ability to develop into many different cell types in the body, serving as a sort of internal repair system. It was mind-blowing. In fact, this is why I love making videos like this, because it gives us all the opportunity to learn more about ourselves and improve our day-to-day -day living through science and groundbreaking researches like this. Now you might be wondering, why are we all not benefiting from this amazing stem cells? Well, turns out that like every other microorganisms in our body, stem cells can be affected by factors like heavy drinking, diabetes, high stress levels, and aging. But today, we will focus more on the aging effects on stem cells. As we age, our stem cells also um, start to lose their punch. We have less of them. The ones that we have don't work quite as well. This is just a kind of a, a natural part of, of our life cycle. But, uh, and, and because of that, um, uh, there are a number of diseases where impairments of stem cells um, are important. So when you have hair loss, alopecia, baldness, Alzheimer's disease, stem cells in the brain, um, uh, uh, asthma, you, can't, you get scarring and you actually don't have enough stem cells to keep repairing the lungs. Um, uh, erectile dysfunction, I put, it, I put it back there. Looking at the various age-related conditions, 
or diseases that comes as our stem cells begin to lose their vigor, diminishing their ability to repair and rejuvenate our bodies. The pursuit of ways to boost stem cell function have become a critical area of more ongoing research. However, in the same quest to rejuvenate and harness the power of stem cells, certain dietary choices stand out. Among these, four homemade drinks encapsulate the essence of nutritional science and traditional wisdom, offering a beacon of hope for enhancing stem cell function. Recommended by Dr. William Lee. First on our list is a decadent yet incredibly healthful dark hot chocolate drink. This isn't just any sweet treat, it's a powerful elixir for your body that extends beyond its taste to its health benefits, particularly when it comes to high flavanol chocolate. It turns out that studies have been done where if you take um, high chocolate with high flavanols and make a hot chocolate out of it, and you drink it just twice a day, two cups a day, uh, for 30 days, you can start by measuring your stem cells, and, and this is from 16 subjects, and you can make the stem cell levels go up. This is two cups of hot chocolate, of high flavanol hot chocolate, just twice a day. By the way, all of these patients had cardiovascular disease. They had documented blockages in their arteries, in their heart, and they could get more stem cells going. That is a small study, but really, really interesting to think about. So again, we need to pay attention to what kind of studies these are. This is a clinical trial. Um, it's a small study, but it, it actually is really important because it correlates with some of the other information I showed you. A larger study, 20,000 people in Germany showed that, um, e e that those who ate 7.5 grams of chocolate per day lowered the risk of heart attack or stroke by 39%. Okay, what is 7.5 grams of chocolate? It's about three chocolate chips. Got to be dark chocolate, not that much. And you know, it's, by the way, I want to say it's not the dairy and the chocolate, it's not the sugar in the chocolate. It is that natural chemical in cacao. Flavanol, a type of antioxidant found in cacao that have been shown to significantly bolster stem cell proliferation and improve cardiovascular health. Dr. Lee illuminates the fact that dark chocolate, rich in antioxidants, has the astonishing ability to mobilize your stem cells. Yes, sipping on this luxurious drink can actually kickstart your body's internal regeneration process, healing you from the inside out. Next up, pomegranates, a superfruit renowned not just for its jewel-like seeds, but for its profound health benefits. With antioxidants, here's the amazing thing is it's good for our gut health. It helps mm. our gut grow one bacteria called acromancia that actually helps fight cancer. Dr. Lee shines a light on pomegranate's incredible antioxidant properties, which play a pivotal role in bolstering our gut health and arming us against cancer. These antioxidants, particularly punicolagans, are warriors in the fight against inflammation and the oxidative stress that can lead to chronic diseases. But how do these beautiful fruits aid in the fight against cancer? It's through their effect on our gut microbiome. Pomegranates help increase the population of a gut bacteria known as Ackermansia, a key player in maintaining our mucosal lining and our overall immune response. This relationship between pomegranates and our gut microbiome is a prime example of how foods can influence our health at the microscopic level. Dr. Lee recommends consuming eight ounces of this potent juice daily to harness its health benefits fully. It's like a shot of vitality to start your day, a simple habit with profound effects on your well-being. So, as we savor the tangy, sweet taste of pomegranate juice, let's toast to a robust gut, a strengthened defense against disease, and a vibrant path to health, guided by the wisdom of foods like these that Dr. Lee champions. Venturing further into our third journey of rejuvenation, Let's spotlight the humble kiwi, a fruit that might just be the unsung hero of longevity. Dr. Lee emphasizes a fascinating facet of the kiwi, its power to shield our DNA from damage. Imagine, by consuming just one kiwi a day, you could bolster your body's defenses against the environmental assaults that accelerate cellular aging. This small fruit is packed with vitamin C, E, and a host of antioxidants that work in concert to fend off DNA damage by an astonishing 60%. It's a testament to how nature's offerings can be potent protectors of our health. Now, how can we easily incorporate this powerhouse into our daily routine? One delightful solution is a kiwi smoothie, a refreshing blend that kickstarts your day with a burst of nutrients and vitality. Incorporating kiwi into your breakfast routine, whether in a smoothie, sliced atop your cereal, or even just eaten as is, can be a simple yet profound step toward a healthier, more youthful you. 
Dr. Lee's recommendation to embrace kiwi is a gentle reminder that sometimes the most effective health strategies are also the most delicious. Four, uncovering the immune boosting benefits of broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are not only delicious, but also pack a powerful punch when it comes to boosting your immune system. At the heart of their immune boosting prowess lies a compound called sulforaphane. This potent phytochemical has been extensively studied for its remarkable ability to enhance the body's defense mechanisms against infections and diseases. Comparing the nutrient content of mature broccoli to its sprouts reveals an interesting revelation. While both forms of broccoli offer various health benefits, broccoli sprouts stand out for their superior nutrient density. In fact, research has shown that baby broccoli sprouts contain up to 100 times more sulforaphane than their mature counterparts. This significant difference underscores the importance of incorporating broccoli sprouts into your diet for maximum immune-boosting effects. As Dr. William Lee advises, don't underestimate the power of these tiny greens. Just a small serving of broccoli sprouts each day can go a long way in promoting immune function and disease prevention. Whether added to salads, sandwiches, or smoothies, there are countless delicious ways to incorporate broccoli sprouts into your meals and reap the health benefits they offer. So feel free to explore them as you can't go wrong. Your body will thank you for it, and you'll be well on your way to enjoying a healthier, more vibrant life. Now I turn to you, my viewers. Have these insights sparked a curiosity? Incorporating these four homemade drinks into your daily routine, as recommended by Dr. William Lee, can rejuvenate your body inside out. But it's important to note that there is no one size fit all when it comes to health and longevity. So I encourage you to explore more by also looking into. Dr. Lee's books, Eat to Beat Disease and Eat to Beat Your Diet are a treasure trove of knowledge, offering deeper dives into how the foods we love can become potent tools in our health arsenal. It's an invitation to view your kitchen not just as a place of nourishment, but as a sanctuary of healing and rejuvenation.